16, short initial runway 16, additional traffic unmanned MQ-9, midfield left downwind for runway 25, on departure maintain at or below 5,600 until outside the class delta, runway 25 wind 140 at 5, clear for takeoff, change it. Air traffic control phraseology is our way of communicating with pilots and other air traffic controllers. It provides us with a quick and effective way of communicating at the same time reducing any misunderstanding there may be. Having a standardized set of phraseology gives us a baseline so we can communicate effectively and quickly. We want to provide safe, orderly, and expeditious service. Snake 31 climb maintains 6,600 traffic, two F-16s over gap, 6,100 direct. After basic training, uh, you go to tech school and uh, you start getting the fundamentals of air traffic control and mainly the phraseology. Juliet Delta Alpha Bravo Practicing phraseology can be fun and frustrating. A lot of controllers will practice just by saying it out loud over and over until it's driven into their head so you know when they need to use it they can use it properly and they don't sound nervous or unconfident. Confidence is a big factor in this job, especially with saying phraseology. It's important for the pilot to have trust in you when you're giving him a control instruction. State departure destination and if you're requesting Turn right, turn left, send and maintain, climb and maintain. You know, he wants the confidence in your voice that, all right, this guy wants me to do this. I have confidence that they're going to keep me safe. So when you say phraseology every day and you know it's your job, you're saying it all the time, uh, it's not uncommon to find yourself you know, with your buddies uh, spinning off phraseology. You know, it's not uncommon to say standby or enable. Um, sometimes I'll find myself saying correction when I don't like something I said and I don't know, people look at me like I'm crazy. I found that in RAPCON, which is the military version of the TRADECON, it's the radar. Uh, controller. It's a whole nother ball game. You're given longer traffic calls, you're given uh, more detailed control instructions. Out here we see the aircraft, we have a lot smaller airspace. So usually our control instructions are uh, simple. Our job mainly is to, as far as traffic calls go, tell a pilot of other aircraft's location around them. We use control instructions to steer them out of the way or climb, climb them, descend them, and maintain separation between them. An example of a traffic call and maybe with a control instruction would be climb maintain 7100, turn right heading 030, traffic 11 o'clock, 5 miles, F-16 southwest bound, descending out of 6500. So that means I want the pilot to turn right and climb to avoid the traffic that's at his 11 o'clock um, and it's bearing down on him only 5 miles away. Unless there's an immediate uh, threat to the pilot and his aircraft, we control it. We uh, tell him what to do, when to do it, because if he's just flying out there, he might turn right into someone and not even know they were there. So that's our job to prevent that from happening. Levi 11825 one at 8, clear for takeoff, change to departure.